So how are your resolutions coming? This is my book that I wanted to fill with a small painting every day and I want to give myself a five minute time limit. It's my January challenge. Today as I'm filming this it is the 16th and I am behind. I was supposed to be on the scarf today but actually I need to go all the way back to snowshoes because after January 6th life got in the way. So I am going to forgive myself and start with this one and I thought I would just check in with you guys and see how you're doing with your reunions or reunions resolutions. If you're having a reunion I hope that's going well. <laughs> I'm still using my uh, my Da Vinci palette here that I put together. Um, this is kind of a landscape palette that I've got going for uh, my needs here in Colorado and um, I might add some more colors to it although I'm not quite sure yet what to add. So I'm still playing with this one. Loving the Da Vinci paints but uh, let's set the timer for five minutes and I promised myself I would just use water brushes for this challenge and the five minutes does include sketching time. So we are going to set this for five minutes. We're going to sketch some snowshoes. I've got a picture over here on my computer up of, of snowshoes. I like the perspective. So if you're ready, let's see if we can do this <laughs> and how much we can get done in five minutes. On your marks, get set, go. Let's see here. Uh, which way should I do this? I think I'm going to turn this one this way for this particular thing here. Can you still see that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. The snowshoe kind of comes in here and it comes down this way. And then this one has the top of it kind of right about here. And it comes down this way. These are modern snowshoes. I would like to go snowshoeing. However, I kind of feel like I would hate it. <laughs> I have uh, I don't want to be too, too cold. Um, I don't know. It's Once you're in the mountains, it's a whole lot of fun to do things. But when you get that wind, oh my gosh, it's so cold. And we've just had a huge deep freeze here in Colorado. It has been, there's so much equipment on here that I'm not quite sure I'm going to be able to draw it all, but we'll, uh, we'll do our best here. Um, there is, uh, we'll kind of make this a strap that comes off. We had a deep freeze here and it was miserable. Oh my goodness. We ended up um, with uh, trying to walk the dog. We, of course, we still had to walk the dog. He decided that it was still crucial that he get outside, which is fine. I can appreciate that. But his little feet, oh my goodness, you guys, they kept... Um, they kept freezing and we had to make a lot of changes in the way we walked. For instance, we would just simply carry him. And um, thank goodness Leo only weighs <laughs> about 13 pounds because if he weighed more than that, oh my goodness, we would have such a hard time. Let's see, this comes up this way. And then we've got just kind of a melange of straps over here this one my gosh you guys how many of you have been snowshoeing is it is it fun is it horrible I don't know I wonder what it would be like I don't know what the what the 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 feeling of walking oh, I like this one better than this one oh well um I don't know what the feeling would be like of walking you know in the snow I guess it would be fun <laughs> but maybe it would be miserable. That's, that's the thing. You don't know if it's going to be fun or if it's going to be miserable. So you do it and then you do the best you can. All right, friends, we are down to two and a half minutes. I've used half my time sketching. First thing I'm going to do is put in a little bit of a grayish blue horizon line for the snow. And then there's a shadow here. Get some shadows going here with these straps and the edge of the snow boot. There's a little shadow under here from this upper ridge. And now we'll come in here. I'm going to need to make this a little bit more dark. I've got a very dark brown over here, but I need to turn it into a gray. So I've got a burnt sienna and I'm just adding some more cobalt to it. Let's turn this down this way. And we'll fill that in. 
These things are just so fast and furious, but they really help you determining what, what is the important information? What do I need to get in here to, in order to make it, uh, to be able to communicate what it is I wanna communicate with this painting? And that's something that I think is very valuable, uh, can be extremely valuable to a lot of artists. So I do recommend doing some sort of challenge that kind of gets you out of your comfort zone. I think this particular one, I might have to enlist some, uh, some ink to make it make sense. Let's get the, the straps purple because why not? And a little bit of that. Okay, now I wanna go over here to this pile of uh, puddle of green that I have. It's a very dark green. And we're just kinda of gonna do some trees off in the distance. Oops, got that one a little bit low. And go back into my snow shadow here, which that's too gray. We need to blue that up a little. Let's see here. Oh, and time is up. Well, I can tell what it is because I'm looking at the reference <laughs> photo, but you might not be able to tell. So these are my snowshoes. One is facing this way. One is kind of facing straight ahead. Um, these are great for this kind of speed practice so that you can really determine what it is, what is the essential information that you wanna get in on your painting. So you guys, if this is something that interests you and you're really looking to just kind of exercise your artist muscles <laughs> this month and uh, really pay attention to what you wanna to do to grow as an artist, this is an excellent challenge to do that. You will learn a lot about yourself uh, in this process. If it's something you really wanna do, I've got a link to another video that I did uh, when I initially introduced this challenge. I'll put that down in the description in addition to the prompts list. And you guys, we will see you soon. Have a lot of fun. If you wanna share these on Instagram, I've got a couple of hashtags here for you. I hope everyone is having a great January and staying warm. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye now.